Today we'll take a look at how we can speed up our editing workflow on the cut page in Resolve. The cut page has been around for a while, but it took me quite a bit to break out of my traditional editing method on the edit page. Once I discovered how intuitive and fast I could plow through a set, I was sold. Organization. Remember that no tool or app will magically organize your clips. There are great tools that will help you with organization like Media Page, where you can tag your clips using metadata and create power bins to group your clips by frame rate camera type or resolution to name a few, but ultimately it is you who need to actually come up with a system that fits your style. We've created a dedicated tutorial on media management, which you can check if you click on the link above. Cut page overview. Once you're on the cut page, you'll notice a similarity with the edit page where we have a timeline, viewer and media pool. The main difference is that while the edit page was designed for more traditional editing environment, the cut page is meant for speed. Before starting a timeline, you can select a resolution from the timeline resolution quick menu above the viewer where you can choose from a few presets or set your own if you want to override the timeline resolution you have set in the project settings initially. This is great if you want to export various aspect ratios of the same timeline to use on social media platforms. The media pool has a few viewing options for your clips depending on your needs from the basic thumbnail view to a metadata, film strip and list view each revealing various levels of information about the clip. Furthermore, you can sort your media by a few basic criteria from the sort media menu. The viewer will display either your clips from the media pool or your timeline. It has the same traditional transport controls with a few extra added. The viewer has three main modes that will let you view a specific source clip from the media pool by double clicking it, a source tape showing a sequence view of all the clips in a bin or sub bins and your timeline. An additional helpful tool is the safe area selector, which will add a variety of guides for social media or broadcast aspect ratios, as well as regular centering guides. These are great if you want to reframe your timeline for a specific aspect ratio. A tools button will reveal several editing functions you can use directly with the viewer without opening the inspector at all, such as transform, crop, stabilization, lens correction, and even color correction to name a few. The timeline has a typical layout except for having a secondary upper timeline representing the entire length. This layout will significantly enhance your editing speed because of the two different views and navigation methods. The upper timeline has the typical playhead that can be moved to the location you want in the entire width, while the lower timeline will sync up the current position in a fixed, zoomed-in, detailed view. The playhead in the lower timeline will be locked in the center, meaning that the clips will scroll by it on playback. You can also free the playback for a traditional playback style where it will move over the clips. You have all the typical editing functions in the bottom timeline where you can cut, trim or roll directly on the clip's handles. Using source tape to edit. Now that we've gone over the cut page, let's see how we can edit a whole set. Considering that you've imported and organized your media as I've mentioned before, let's create a new timeline with the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus N on Windows or Command plus N on a Mac and give it a name. Next, let's hop in the footage bin and click on the source tape in the viewer where we can see a sequence of all the clips in that bin. Remember that we can change the sort order of a bin from the sort drop-down menu, which will be reflected in the sequence as well. Now it's just a matter of going through the sequence using your JKL keyboard shortcuts or the jog wheel to navigate and hitting I for in and O for out points. Then use the F9 key to insert your selection on the timeline. Repeat this until you get to the last clip in your bin. An extra tip on navigation here. If you click L again, after you've clicked it to start the playback, it'll bring up the speed by two times. Clicking it repeatedly will increase the speed to four times and up to 64 times maximum. Same for the J key for playing backward. Pressing and holding K plus L will play forward at slow motion or K plus J for backward slow motion. These are crucial shortcuts to master to speed up your work. 
If you want to zoom in a selection for a more precise trimming, click the source tape button once, which will show the entire selection, then press the escape key to go back into source tape mode showing your sequence of clips. You can review the timeline edit by pressing the Q keyboard shortcut to switch from the source tape viewer to the timeline viewer and Q to toggle back again. Using the source tape function speeds up the editing process considerably because you don't need to individually click on each clip in your bin to make your selections. From here on, you can fine tune your edit with the cut, ripple trim and roll functions using the clip handles on the timeline and adjust your clips using the tools under the viewer like transform, crop, stabilization or lens correction. Next, you can follow up your timeline with more detailed editing if needed on the edit page color grading and ultimately exporting. Editing your sets on the cut page as a stock media producer will give you the benefit of being quicker while maintaining your accuracy with significantly less effort to get your work done. Challenge yourself by editing your next three or four sets using only the cut page and see how it compares to the more traditional editing on the edit page. Follow that with learning to navigate your source tape or timeline with the JKL keys, selecting your in and out trim points using I and O and the F9 key to insert and you'll be off to a speedy processing without even touching the mouse. I'm Gabi Bukataro for Stocks United and thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not yet and I'll see you in the next one.